Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video, new video on FreeCAD and in this video we are going to see how to work with the uh, draft workbench, how it's possible to work with this workbench and we are going to see different features and how you can start well with this uh, workbench. Subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel if you like, like the content, a lot of uh, content about uh, 3D modeling, CAD uh, software on these channels and here we are going to focus on FreeCAD. First thing on the description, the complete course FreeCAD is available so if you want to step by step learn this software with a course structure everything will be in the first link on the description. You will see the model, the session, it is uh, a very uh, very uh, interesting course, you have a lot of session, a lot of hours of training content to perfectly master FreeCAD and we see a lot of workbenches in this course. So everything is on the first link on the uh, description. So let's start. If you want to have access to the draft workbench, one of the first things to do, you just need to go here and you can have access to the draft workbench. It's just a workbench when directly you can uh, go so you don't, don't need to add an extension it is directly a workbench that you can use what you can do with this workbench concretely you have different type of window i organize my different windows here and you will be able to create drawings like for example if you need to create architecture drawings or if you want to create a drawing for models it's definitely possible I decided to put my window here so you will be able to work with a work plane after you have different I decided to put this uh, element so it is a different uh, drawing tools after you have different editing tools and just on this area you have the different snapping options one of the first things to do is to have access to a grid so by default the grid is in automatic view to have access to the grid you just click here and you can see a grid is displayed and something extremely important is to set the grid so first you go on this one and you can select the uh, work plane that you want you can select where to position the grid and if i define for example top just here i need to have the right view to be able to have the right alignment so it means if i use top and i want to draw i need to use my top view and after that, I can, for example, take one of these tools, like the rectangle tools, and I will be able to create a rectangle just like this. But because we work in drawing, it's very important to set the view with the work plane. I'm going to show you something. So for example, I'm going to come back to the top view. I created this rectangle. If, for example, I go here and I define something different like the front view, and here now I have a work plane on the front so it means I can work with just on this area I can click on front and if I create another rectangles on the front I work on a different work plane as you can see for my drawings and let's try another one I can click here oops it is yes so let's try another one I can just click here and select side so now as you can see the work place plane is on the side so it means I can select why not the right view to align my view to the work plane and after to do that if I create another rectangle maybe on this area I'm on a different work plane so let's try to yes understand the different work plane first and I created three rectangles on three different work planes. So generally you will work on just one work plane. So what I'm going to do now is to select this different rectangle on my construction tree and just press delete. I will click here and define the work plane that I want and I will work on the top work plane. If I work on the top work plane, extremely important, you need to align the view to the work plane. And after normally, you are not going to move the view because you will work on this work plane. And when I go here, for example, on top, you have also more options. So it means if you want to increase the number of lines, you can increase just here. You have also the possibility, if I just come back with 100, you can also increase the grid spacing just on this area. So you have different type of uh, options. You can also go main line every, and as you can see, it's little different. Now we have main line every 20 millimeter. 
at the beginning we have main line every 10 mm so we can work with the work plane here so let's just click on close after you will have different type of uh, drawing tools so for example if i define the rectangle tools i can click on my rectangles and if i want to snap to the grid something that i can do it's to click here first and you can unlock the different snapping options and when you go on this area you have snap to grid and i can activate snap to grid so now if i take my rectangles as you can see it's possible to snap to an element and for example i can create a rectangle from this part to this part and you can just draw like this depending of what you do you can also fill the shape if you select fill directly you can create a shape and you can automatically fill the element if i just come back you can have access to the property of your element if i click on my rectangles i will have different properties here so we have the view properties and we have also the data properties and on the data properties if i want to change the size of my rectangle i can change the size but I can do also more things if I need. Some things that I will do is to create, for example, a circle. And I can zoom a little bit, create a circle here, and I will define a circle. On the left, I can define a radius, or I can just use my grid, and I will work with four millimeters. We have a face here. If I select my circles, I can use data property, make face, change for false, just like this. And if I create another circle here, I can create another circle, but you have also different type of tools that you can use. If, for example, I select these circles and I want to create a symmetry, I can use mirror. So first I select the circle, mirror, and I can create my axis on the vertical axis and I can create a mirror. I can click on this circle again, mirror create a first point, a second point to create my horizontal axis and click here and activate a symmetry. I can click on this circle, mirror, create again a horizontal axis, and I can make my element just here. So you, have a, you have a lot of uh, options, you have different type of tools. I'm going to use my circle tool, go in the center and create a circle with a radius of 8. Here I created make face so I can change for false. And if I select my circle again, every time you have different options. If you want to start, for example, from center, you can just activate zero on the x axis, zero on the y axis and enter the point. But you can also use the grid, depend what you want to use just like this. So as you can see, you can uh, definitely use different drawing tools. You can uh, create a line. If I want to create a line, I can use the line tools. If I want to create a polygon, I can use a polygon. I have also spleen tools to create different type of curve just like this. So definitely with a draft workbench, you can uh, create a different type of drawings. And after that, you will have other type of tools, like if you want to scale an element, it's possible using this one. So for example, I can select all my elements just here. And I need also to click here and click here. So I can select all the elements with control. If I use my scale options, scale, I will define the center point first, left click, and after I can use a scale value and I can use uniform scaling. If I want to scale, I can press two. And here you have create a clone. So you can activate or deactivate or you can copy also. I'm going to deactivate this one and just clone. But one of the problem is because we are the clone, only the rectangle is scale in this case because we use mirror. But if you don't use mirror, we can scale all the different elements uh, at the same times. And yes, in this case, it's not extremely convenient for the simple reason that now the rectangle, as you can see, is scale, but uh, it's not possible to redo the actions. I'm going to click on my rectangle and just press delete. So this is a little the type of things that you will be able to do with this type of workbench. You can also add dimensions. You can also add some text depending on the properties. So for example, I can use a rectangle tools one more time, create a rectangle just here. If I want to add the dimensions, I have a dimension tools and I can select the first point, a second point, and I will be able to define 
a dimensions. I can click here again, create a first print, a second print, define dimensions, depending of in the preferences panels I use for the dimensions. And if you want to add some text, it's also possible. So this is little what you will be able to do with this workbench. So the aim in this video was just to introduce the draft workbench. What is the interest to use of the, the draft workbench? Concretely, it is to draw. You can create drawing. You have drawing tools, you can add text, you can add dimensions, and you have editing tools for this drawing. You can use a grid and you can snap to different grid, enter different values. So we are going to stop here for this video. If you like, subscribe to this uh, YouTube channels. First link on the description, the complete course uh, FreeCAD is available. So if you want to learn FreeCAD step by step with the course structure, it's on the first link on the description. You will see the models, you will see the session, what you will be able to learn. It is a very interesting course, a lot of hours of content to see a lot of workbenches in FreeCAD and um, perfectly master free card. And for our next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.